Here's how to activate eSIM on Android. Now we'll first just head into your settings. So swipe down from the top right and tap on the gear icon at the top right. Once you're in here, you need to get to the SIM manager. So tap on connections at the very top and you can see midway down is SIM manager. Let's just tap on that. Now, once you're in here, if you want to add a new eSIM, just tap on add eSIM. You have a few different options when you do add that eSIM from whatever new carrier that you have. You can see once you get in here, I can hit transfer SIM from another phone. This is say if you have an old iPhone or an old Android, you can just basically bring that phone nearby and you can transfer it from that old phone. But oftentimes you'll get a QR code instead. So tap on scan QR code. And here you can see is just a dummy QR code. So I can scan that QR code and essentially it will go through the process of adding it for you. If you don't see the QR code, you can hit scan QR code and enter activation code instead. And then essentially all you need to do is enter the activation code that your carrier gives you. Keep in mind all of this information your carrier gives you when you sign up for a new plan. Now, if the last thing, basically let's go back out of here, you can hit the search for eSIMs. If there's already an eSIM on your device, it can search around for it. You can see in my case, no eSIMs found. But after you've done that, you can just go back and make sure the eSIM is toggled on here and you're good to go.